welcome to Amsterdam, New York. Amsterdam is located between Albany and Utica um, off the thruway, the New York State Thruway, and we are right on Main Street in the heart of the city. And we're gonna take a little walk through, um, show you guys around, see what there is to see in Amsterdam. According to Data USA, as of 2019, the population in Amsterdam is roughly 49,302. The median age is 41. It's got an insanely high poverty rate of 19.8. And the household income, again, this is as of 2019, is $49,462. The median property value here is roughly $105,400. So we are on Main Street. A little chilly today. We'll take it. Look at these beautiful historic buildings. So niche.com gives Amsterdam, New York a C plus. Uh, public schools get a C, housing gets a C, C plus, good for families. Crime and safety gets a C plus, B plus for nightlife, and diversity gets an A. Now this building here, built in 1860 and it looks like it's an abandoned building which is a shame because this building looks solid and if it was renovated it faces waterfront I'm sure it'd be a good investment for the city Not gonna lie, guys, this is one of the saddest looking uh, veterans memorial parks that I have ever seen here on Main Street. Looks like they took one of the McDonald's arches and just popped it on these two posts. They can do better. So according to niche.com, there are 27 reviews. We're gonna read a couple of them. This person gives, oh, that's a cute little store. No name. Wooden bird homes. Yeah, this, this is kind of depressing, guys. The, the main street is not thriving. Except for this pizzeria, Riverside Pizzeria. Not much else is going on here in the heart of Amsterdam. So this one person gives it three out of five stars. And he or she writes, extremely diverse with a large Hispanic and mixed population. Route 30 has lots of great food options, such as Dunkin', Five Guys, and Ruby Tuesdays, and stores like Target and Walmart. Quiet city, crime happens, but not too often, and you barely see anyone walking around during the day. Well, that's kind of interesting. I've noticed that as well. The pedestrian bridge and a river link park attracts tourists and Amsterdam residents. Spring fling on East Main Street is fun. And Shuttleworth Park has baseball games and a playground. What is this off track betting? 
not a far drive from some of the lakes and skiing in the area public schools are fairly good not not a lot of job opportunities not a ton of not a ton of things to do here so it can get a little boring sometimes um, no local bus service no movie theater okay another person writes Amsterdam is a good city to start a growing family there are many parks as well as a magnetic magnet schools and Catholic schools the city of Amsterdam has many churches department stores a variety of fast food chains and lots of job opportunity um, for our growing community in the summer you can often find many community events such as concerts culture feats and fairs occurring and this is another one of those um, mannequin displays okay random but interesting nevertheless and here we have a computer repair shop called the geek pentology So we are here in the old industrial hub. This used to be hustling and bustling. People worked three shifts, making carpets, textiles. And as you can see, I'm sure there are still some businesses here, but you can see the broken windows, the windows being covered up. That whole piece is completely rusted out from the bottom. These pipes are disconnected. I mean, th these buildings are in disarray, graffiti all over the place. Um, but we are gonna take a walk through history, guys. So this used to be the financial heart of Amsterdam. And we are right in the middle of it all. The remnants of the past. And I did go online and currently they do have a few um, businesses running these buildings. Uh, one of them serves as a giant warehouse and so forth. Look at that. People used to walk from this building to that building. It used to be just like a huge 
micro city back in the industrial era wow what, what did logan find an opening Ooh, that's kind of creepy i would not want to fall in there huh come on Very quiet here, kind of an uh, kind of an eerie feel. Very still, and I, I can hear the water running. Here they have the NTI Global Company. Wow! And look at that giant chimney over here. A person writes uh, a niche Amsterdam is a town with many historical landmarks and some beautiful spots if looked for but there are many abandoned buildings that make the town look bad gives it three out of five stars I like Amsterdam only for the affordability of the area there's also a lot of diversity here the job opportunities here need a little work as I'm trying to get into the mental health field. And if you can't or don't want to work for one of the two places that are available, then there isn't anywhere to work. I'd like to start my own opportunities to provide for the community under my own belief uh, of uh, what I feel should be done in the mental health field. Okay, interesting. Not a lot of job opportunities. Well, it's a small town, so yeah, unfortunately that happens in small towns. Look at that, we randomly stumbled on a waterfall. And this is a railroad track that runs across. How cool is that?
All right, so we are on the south side in Amsterdam, New York. Uh, this place is supposedly one of the most popular Italian pizzerias in the entire city of Amsterdam. Lorenzo Southside Pasta and Pizza. So the boys are a little hungry. Yes, we are like hungry as a nature and we're doing a tasting test. Oh, a tasting test. Okay, okay. Yeah, because every video we make and when we get pizza, we do a tasting test. Yeah. Come on, boys. It's a little bar. Okay, okay. Hi. Right. Do you guys do pizzas to go? So this is Lorenzo's Pizzeria. The dining room is... Eric, come here. Who's that guy? Is that Lorenzo? No. No? Stop. Alright, so we got... Oh, we got Lorenzo's Pizza. Eric. Ooh, look at that. Eric doesn't like that. He doesn't know what that is. That is the traditional pizza. Yes. That's Lorenzo. This pizza is amazing. All right, we are at the Southside Veterans Memorial Park. This was erected back in 1946 to honor the 200 men who served in the armed forces back in World War II. We'll take a quick walk around this memorial park. Names of those members of the community who served in the armed forces during the Korean and the Vietnam War. This is the Sweet Candle Store built in 1850 to serve barges on Erie Canal. Take a quick look. Oh, okay. We're about to give this personalized size pizza a taste test. Come on, Logan. Tell me what you think. Score of 1 to 10. Lorenzo's Pizza. This is a traditional mozzarella. This is how they did it in the old country. And the, the verdict is... 8 out of 10. It's not that crispy. It's just soft. 8 out of 10 is a good score. All right, Eric. I'm fine. Just get off the glass. I'm going to give it a, a taste test. <laughs> I've tasted some pizza in in the old country, so Why let's see how this drippy? compares. Drippy, drippy, drippy. My name is Gata. Gata. I'll give drippy, Lorenzo's drippy, drippy, drippy. Pizzeria. A nine out of ten, fellas. Nine out of ten. That's how good this pizza is. Mm. Honestly, I can eat the whole pie, but I gotta share.
and the Erie Canal goes from Lake Erie all the way to Lake Champlain. Wow. Schenectady, you got Albany here. Niagara Falls. Yep. So let's go toward the Mohawk Valley Gateway Overlook, which was built in 2019. Wow, look at the detail of this bronze statue. You have a duck, giant fish swimming around. I'm very impressed with this statue. Girls holding a baby sheep. Look at this bird attacking the dragonfly. Very cool. Come on boys, let's go take a walk across the bridge. So Amsterdam, New York is a city that's located in Montgomery County, New York. And as of the 2010 census, the city has a population of 18,620. The city is named after Amsterdam in the Netherlands. All right, and uh, the city of Amsterdam is surrounded on the northern, eastern, and western side by the town of Amsterdam. The city developed on both sides of the Mohawk River with the majority located on the northern bank. Amsterdam was a destination for immigrants from Europe, Ireland, Italy, Poland, and Lithuania. People, among others, uh, who found work uh, mostly in factories. In 1865, the population of Amsterdam was 5,135. In the Great Depression, the mills slowed down their output, but they did not close. The city survived the two world wars without significant effect. Shortly after World War II, however, manufacturing in general began to move to the southern parts of the United States, where labor costs and lower taxes were more feasible for these businesses. The mills of Amsterdam also shifted their jobs to the south. After a period in the south, that region lost industrial jobs to overseas locations. So corporations go where labor costs are at the minimum. But it left Amsterdam in a financial bind after all these large car pr producers, textile mills decided to close their doors.
I love that modern looking statue up ahead. Kind of looks like, I guess, to each their own, but to me, I'm picturing the Statue of Liberty. Hey, Eric, what does that statue look like to you? I don't think you heard me. This statue is called Dream River, stainless steel color. And there is a walk, uh, an overpass for crossing the railroad and the highway oh from the oh, old mall down to this waterfront park. It's called Riverlink Park. And this here is the memorial to remember September 11th, 2001. This piece is from one of the towers. And we shall never forget. And here Eric found a playground. Are you going to go down a slide, mister? You're going down the slide? Oh, okay. Okay. That's his wooden pickaxe. So in the early 21st century, uh, post-industrial Amsterdam is still trying to reinvent itself. Uh, the city suffered a serious flood uh, back in August of 2011 in the aftermath of Hurricane Irene and the flooding threatened properties at the river's edge due to erosion and water damage. Look how cool this mosaic is. Love it. Very cool. What's very, inside very in? cool. What's inside in? You like that, bud? It's stone. This was handmade. I wonder how long it took them. An hour. An hour? That's it? I'm thinking maybe at least Two hours. a couple of months if I had to take a guess. So this is the Amsterdam Castle. Built in 1895, used to be called the Amsterdam um, Armory. We're gonna go inside and check it out. Can you guys get on the stair for a second so I can take a picture of you guys, please? Come on, boys. Wow. How are you? Talk about a fancy feast, guys. Look at that. 
and then you have beautiful their dining room look how beautiful their dining room area is Eric come here come here buddy I love these cool doors guys this place is incredible isn't it guys Look at the eagle. That's a hawk. Is that good? Look how pretty that clock is. And they're fighting. Lamp. Guys, look at this lamp. 